this point, you guys have probably noticed that I have no diamond gear, and that's not really a good thing. See, I've already made it to nearly 200 days in this survival world, and I'm still using stone tools, but that changes today. See, I, with the help of last episode's mining session, and a little bit of mining off camera, I managed to get 26 diamonds. Ah. Uh. And with these, I am going to make myself a full set of diamond gear. Except, of course, for a diamond chest plate, because sooner or later I'm going to get an elytra and it'll be basically useless. But before I do that, I want to get an enchanting room set up. And fortunately, we pretty much have everything prepared to do that. So in my infinite emerald generator, you may have noticed that this guy right here is selling bookshelves. Which, by the way, is exactly what we need to make an enchantment table. So, because I have so many emeralds, I can now buy as many bookshelves as I need, and because of that, I'm just gonna, like, buy as many as I can, and it's not enough. Okay. Oh, that, no, that's a little annoying, but you know what? Still nice that we can do it. I'll just go get the other two after I've shown you this. This being the plans for the enchantment room. Now, yes, I did say that I wasn't gonna have them in the outskirts until I realized how nice it would have been it would be and just how cool it would look as well i don't know which one i'm gonna go for but one of these two places will be the room for my enchantment table and what's more the enchantment table will be outside in a way i'll have to be able to make the house first so i can show you although this place might be really good for it too ah actually you know what this place would be really good for it so my plans for this build are to have this kind of blocked off from the rest of the thing I'll probably have an open entrance right about here, but for these things, it will actually be more of like a, uh, like a garage. Basically, this area right here is going to be where the enchantment table is. Actually, you know what? I think this would be a better place for like a grindstone or something. And then I'd have an entrance right here that opens up into a wide room with the enchantment room in it, which will pretty much just be like a, a library with an enchantment table put like somewhere in the middle. As long as it'll give me level 30 enchantments, I'm perfectly fine with it. Somewhere around here, we'll have a staircase that leads up to the top rooms. I don't know what I'm going to put there, but it'll still be there, which is all I need. Because this thing is going to look glorious. Trust me on that. I guess we won't actually know how good it looks until we start building it. So let's get on to that, shall we? So, after a decent bit of work and unfortunately a lot of lost resources, we finally got the enchantment house built up. Now, I'm not entirely sure why I had to add this stuff. I kind of felt like having like an anvil here, sort of like a like a blacksmith or something like that. But then you walk into here and then you get like a, a library, which is kind of stupid when you think about it. But I mean, it works out, I guess. I, of course, didn't end up actually doing the um, uh, the whole blacksmith idea. I had a little bit of stone, and I have... Oh. Oh. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I completely forgot what I was talking about. So, the whole point of me putting a blacksmith here was that I wanted to be able to use my anvil, my grindstone, and my enchantment table all in the same place. Which I still want to do. I like that idea way more than uh, pretty much anything else, actually. But, uh, yeah. As a theme, it doesn't make, like, any sense. However, I actually finally have this now. And, first enchantment I have for this is Efficiency 4. And I'm not gonna take that. First enchantment I wanna get 
is either Fortune or Silk Touch. And preferably, I'm going to go with Silk Touch first so that I can actually start grinding for resources, specifically for like the stone bricks and all that for the houses. I'm really low on that stuff. However, Fortune would be nice as well since that would give me the ability to get more diamonds, iron, gold, redstone, pretty much everything, actually. However, I'm now going to actually uh, come up with what my uh, spending spree is going to be like. So this is pretty much what I'm going to be using. I have my leggings, helmet, and my boots. I have a pickaxe, another one, an axe, a sword, and then a shovel. Now, you may have noticed that I'm not going to be getting another chest plate, as well as the fact that I'm going to be getting another pickaxe. And that is mostly just set up so that I'm not wasting any diamonds. I'm going to be getting an elytra soon anyways, so spending that money on diamonds feels kind of worthless. Also, ow! Okay, um, I have that now. Ugh. And you got the rest of those guys. Where's my shield? Okay, I'm out. I can't die here. I need these levels. I am so close to getting to that new level, dude. To 30. I need to get to 30. Oh, no. Oh, this isn't good. This is not good. I'm perfectly fine fighting them. I just don't want to die. Like, I'd be fine dying if I didn't have a lot of XP. I wouldn't care at all. The problem is that I have a ton of XP, and I need to use that. Whew. I made it. Okay. Ah, uh, That was uncomfortable. Did not like that at all. Oh, uh, now I gotta find those guys. Finding them with a stone sword isn't very fun either. I want to get up to at least a decent amount of health before I attack him. You know, this is making me want to do a raid. But also, I know that's a terrible idea. There you go, got him. And anyways, again, these are this is what I'm going for. Um, I don't need the chest plate or the hoe, obviously, but I do need another pickaxe so that I can have a fortune and a uh, a silk touch fortune i probably won't need for very long but i'm gonna keep it anyways silk touch i will uh i will pretty much constantly need and since there's such a hassle i am going to get mending oh yeah by the way this is a this is gonna be a thing i'm doing i'm not gonna be putting mending on my sword axe or any of my armor things like armor and swords they will not be done axes might be shovels pretty much definitely will be and pickaxes will 100% be maybe not fortune though fortune i feel like i could uh, get away not doing that I, but i want to have like a different set of armor for every era in my series not particularly set as an era for now it'll be like base armor maybe sooner or later i'll get some like high level armor but every time i switch an era I'm not sure what these arrows will be, but every time I switch one, I'm going to make myself a whole new set of armor. Just for fun. Feels like it would be really interesting. But anyways, I am going to try and find an enchantment that I like for my pickaxe. Ah, yes! There you go! That's what I'm talking about! Now I just need to get an enormous amount of XP in like 5 seconds. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure I have a really easy way of doing that. In fact, you may be wondering how I've managed to keep myself at like a rough 30 levels, even after dying so much, without any XP farm. The thing about that is that I technically kind of have one. I need a m bucket of milk. Hold on. I might as well. Dead. Get good, mate. These guys are idiots. I don't like this. Dang.
All right, I also got the mob head thing. Oh yeah, by the way, I, I installed some data packs to make this more interesting. Um, the data packs included are these ones. I didn't, I don't actually know what they are while I'm recording. So I'm just gonna like show you the picture of them or something. Dang it, my shovel's gone. And they're all pretty cool, Um, especially the head one. But I, <laughs> this is gonna be funny, I love it. By the way, um, my screen has been um, uh, tearing a little bit recently. Do you guys have any like fixes for that? It'd be great if you could tell me because I don't know how the heck I'm supposed to do that. Bleh. Yes. Milk. Mm. I'm getting another- wait, wait, hey, don't- I'm getting another one just in case. I need to get XP. And you've probably been wondering how I've been able to keep my level at like almost a consistent 25 without a mob farm or an xp farm of any kind and that's because i kind of have one it was just never intended to be one and that is my infinite emerald generator that i made last episode look boom that itself has leveled me up already i mean that's not really uh the cool thing about this the cool thing is that I have pretty much already increased my, uh, my lev- my glasses. I don't know how to speak, apparently. But also, it gives me a butt-ton of XP. Like, an unnecessary amount. Like, a completely unnecessary amount. Like, it is overkill how much unnecessary amount this stuff gives me. I will now have to wait for a bit because this guy right here is uh, still recovering from all that training. So it's not perfect, but considering I, I just leveled up six levels, it'll be pretty good. Anyways, I'll get back to you as soon as I get all these levels. Ooh, I now have 34 levels, meaning that I can easily uh, enchant this thing. So let's go do that. Yes! Yes, that is a really good enchantment. I love that. Ah, <laughs> let, let's let's go make the rest of our gear. First things first, let's get this pickaxe, an axe, a shovel, and a sword. Yeah, it was good too. Okay, uh, unbreaking villagers have been added to the equation. You know what? I might as well stick with that for now. Ready? You know what? That's honestly all I care for here. So, after doing a bit of research and testing, I have found a super easy way to get infinite stone. And yes, this is AF Cable. I will have to watch the time I spend on this because I don't want my pickaxe to break. But if I just AFK in small increments, I should be able to get a on of stuff. I just have to make sure I don't do it for too long because then my pickaxe is gonna break and that won't really be very fun. But for now, we're just gonna get all the resources. Oh, also, we got coal and I'm really hyped about that. Pretty much all we need though for this is four chests. That might be five if I want to be able to have as much storage as possible. Three of these will be used for um, uh, hoppers and the other two will just be used as storage anyways i'm gonna go with that lava now and this should also be way less dangerous than it normally is because i've got some swords now all right well uh that was pretty easy well let's go get the thing started up then we've already got all that we need which took pretty much no time at all actually and setting it up should take almost no time as well which means that we can now afk while we're trading with villagers which will help things out so where am i gonna put this probably right there to be honest um i can't i can't really imagine anywhere else it feels like the the nicest place i guess anyway so i'm gonna start clearing this out i don't actually think i need that much room so on these three blocks I will put lava. There will be a chest, a double chest actually, right here. And then, bam, we got that done. And then we will put water on these blocks. And just because I'm like that, oh, okay, hold on. We're gonna need to make these stone. Right, there's the crafting table. Oh, I can just do that now. That feels so nice. Next, all I need to do is have a trap door. So, I actually messed up with what I was saying earlier. The water is going here. 
and lava's going here. So the way this works is that when lava, the bottom of lava touches the top of water, it turns into stone. We've literally already finished this entire farm. Now a decent amount of it gets burnt, and I don't think I have any fix to that. If there is a good fix though, I would love to know. I'm gonna try something real quick though. Anyways, this seems to be working pretty much perfectly, so uh I'm gonna see you guys in a bit. Cause I'm gonna I'm gonna keep doing this. So I had a huge clip here talking about how earlier this week I streamed and got a ton of mending and like a ton of villagers for books and all that. But the video kind of fricked up. So basically here's a summary of what happened. I talked about the stream, I put all the villagers in their place, and then I decided that I was going to make a blacksmith so I could use the anvil quickly. And um, since the whole thing was messed up, in fact, I'm going to show you a picture of what quite literally the entire recording was. It was just that with audio over it. Um, I'm just going to go straight into the time lapse. So you guys enjoy that, yeah. Okay, so I've had a ton of tries with this, but my computer has not been doing too well right now. I've had, like, so many recording problems. In fact, I'm having one right now for literally no reason. But I need to end this video, so yeah. I finished I finished making this, and um, I really like it. It's really nice, but uh, uh, due to the fact that I've had, like, 18 messed up recordings, I've done pretty much everything else I can do. I've named this one Lucky Stick. Uh my bow swoosh, my shovel magic hole stick, my axe a chopstick, and I haven't decided on this one because I want you guys to come up with it. So if you have an idea for it, put it in the comment, and the most liked comment will get the name for this thing. I'm not sure why, I just, I feel like that would be fun. But uh, I really need to end this now, so uh, thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video.